Hi guys, this is Diane with Southern City Girl, G-U-R-L. The reason I called it girl is because our daddy used to call us girl when he would get upset with us or want to get our attention. He would say girl, and so we'd have to go see what he was talking about. Or if we knew what he was talking about, like stop doing that, then we would stop doing that and go on. Well, I'm in my bathroom this morning. Uh, my husband's out in the living room watching TV, which is fine. You know, this is his house too, and it's too cold to go outside. And there's no place else for him to go. And so I just thought I would be in here in the bathroom, which uh, most of you know, when you're in the bathroom, you normally do not get disturbed. But sometimes it might happen. Well, this is my very first video, and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, thinking I have to have my hair just right, my makeup just right, and I have to look just right for you. I have to present myself just perfect just for you. And you know, lately I've been seeing a lot of my friends lose their husbands, lose their children, lose friends uh, with either COVID or cancers, people going through brain cancers and chemotherapies and kidney transplants and you know sometimes it makes you take a double look at your life and evaluate yourself you know what's really important what is really important and you know happiness is important to me and um, I love God with everything that I have inside of me and I love my family with everything inside of me we, we've had seven grandchildren. We lost one. And um, we have two great grandbabies. All of our family is scattered all over the place. We have one son that lives here with us. Not in where we live, but right across the street. And uh, we live in a fifth wheel. That's why it's so confined sometimes. There's no place to really go uh, unless you want to get in your car, your truck whatever you have for um, privacy or just to get by yourself or my husband is so good he'll go outside for hours just so that I can have some time by myself and he likes to sit outside when it's nice outside but right now it's pretty cold outside and um, he's relaxing and and I'm not gonna bother him right now anyway I wanted to get this started and let you guys know that um, what I want to try to accomplish to do is to encourage you uh, especially with everything that's going on today and some of you are so discouraged you just don't know where to turn and what to do next you know uh, do i quit my unemployment and try to find a job that i get less money than unemployment do i stay where i'm at um you know do i move in with somebody uh what, what do i do what do i do for me and my family and sometimes we don't know what to do Sometimes we can guess and uh, we can try and it works out. Sometimes it doesn't work out. There's a lot of things that I've tried that I really didn't know if it was the right thing to do. And sometimes it's worked out and sometimes it hasn't worked out. The only thing I can say is, you, you know, you just got to really, you know, if you don't trust in God, you've got to trust in God. You have got to put him first in your life. And you say, God, I don't know. You just have to say, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to turn. Um, it's like Dorothy in the Yellow Brook Road, when she got to that, that place, she didn't know to go left or right. She did not know, but you know what? If we are putting our trust in Him, more than likely we will know. But sometimes, I know in, in my walk with God, I haven't known, and so I've just totally trusted in Him and asked Him to guide my life. And he's had mercy and he's had grace because I ask him, Lord, what should I do? What is your will for my life? And even if I didn't know exactly what his will was for my life, you know, I did what I, I felt good about and I thought about. And um, he was there with me. He was right beside me. I don't know if any of you have, if you, of you have ever read that, Footprints in the Sand. Um, it's a poem. It is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't read it, find it. Read it. Footprints in the sand. There's only one set of footprints when you were walking in the sand. You couldn't figure out, oh, you know, you're not walking beside me, God. How come I can't see two foot, 
two sets of footprints, but that's because he was carrying you. Sometimes we can't go on the, the roads that we're on um, because it's, it's too sad, it's too overwhelming, and it's just, it, we can't do it because we're human. He carries us. Oh, he does, guys. He will carry you. He will be with you. But in my, in my videos to come, you know, I am going to do some cooking. I'm going to be going outside. I'm going to show you where I live. Uh, as I stated earlier, I do live in a fifth wheel. It is hard at times. It's very challenging at some times. You don't have privacy. Even if you go outside, you don't have privacy. There's, there's cars and RVs moving and dogs barking, kids walking by, people walking by. And, and uh, although I'm a friendly person, um, I have really hibernated myself in, the, in this fifth wheel for the last two, two and a half years. And that's one reason I want to do this um, YouTube is because, you know, I've always taught my kids, remember who you are when they walk out the door. Remember who you are. Somehow I forgot who I was in the last two, two and a half years. But I'm going to get that back. And uh, I'm going to do this because I'm doing this for me. And I'm doing this to leave something for my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren to look back upon. And uh, it took me a lot of courage to start this, but I started it. And um, I am what I am. And uh, I'm going to be myself. And I, I challenge you to be yourself. Don't let people try to change you. Just be who you are. And even if you don't know who you are, just relax and... And uh, be comfortable in your own skin. It's hard, you know. And it's like I said earlier, you know, I felt like I had to have my makeup the right way and my hair the right way, my lipstick the right way before I could get on here and uh, start recording. And um, I think it's important that you look nice how you want to look, with or without makeup, but how you want to fix your hair. Be, just be comfortable. Be comfortable who you are. I like wearing makeup. I like fixing my hair. I've done it since I was 13 years old. The When I was allowed to start wearing makeup, foundation makeup, a little mascara. I like it. But um, if you don't, that's fine. You know, be yourself. Don't try to be who I am. Don't try to be the movie star that you have fascin fascinations about. Or somebody down the street, your neighbor. Don't be a Jones. Be yourself, guys. You know, we, we can't be anybody else but ourselves. Because you're not going to like yourself, number one. You're going to be miserable trying to keep changing yourself over and over and over again. To get people to like you. To feel like, I don't look good enough. I'm not good enough. I don't say the right things. You know, just be yourself. When you get up in the morning, pray. Ask God, God help me today. No matter how I feel, God, guide me today. Show me what you want me to do, God. Can you help me keep my smile on, Lord, even when I don't feel like it. You know, I, I was a waitress at one time, and, um, and one of my um, customers said, Stand right there. And I'm like, oh, gosh, what's he going to say? Because those of you that have uh, served the public or been a waitress or a waiter, server, you never know what people are going to say. I've had some very cruel comments. I've had some very awesome comments. And so I'm standing there waiting to see what this guy's going to say to me. And he says, your smile is your clothing. And I thought, wow, your smile is your clothing. So I started to dissect that a little bit. And I thought, well, okay, so when you go outside, you don't go outside without your clothes on. Well, most people don't go outside without their clothes on. Generally, you don't do that. And I thought, so don't go outside without your smile on. There's been many times that I haven't felt like smiling. Sometimes it just comes naturally. But sometimes I smile anyway. And you would be surprised how much just one smile would encourage one person. Just one person would encourage them. Well, guys, so much for babbling. Um... I want to, later on, I want to get in my kitchen, and um, this is uh, Tuesday. Thursday is Thanksgiving 2021. So if you forgot to put out your cornbread and dry up your breadcrumbs and your cornbread for some dressing or stuffing, whatever you want to call it, if you 
stuff your bird or he may just dress it in the oven. I want to show you a really quick, simple, good way to make some cornbread dressing. This is really good. A lot of people frown on this. Um, what I use anyway. But how I make it, it's, it's going to be delicious. And I just ask you guys just watch the video and try it. Especially if you're... If you have so much stuff to do, which most of us have a lot to do on Thanksgiving Day, we're getting ready for families to come over, or we're making dishes for potlucks, or to take over to families, this is a very quick, quick way to make some dressing or stuffing for your Thanksgiving dinner. So uh, please watch my next video, that's what it's going to be about, and I thank you guys for tuning in, and and uh, let's, let's encourage each other, okay? That's what I want to do. I want to encourage you and, and lift you up and let you know that you, you, you are amazing. There's only one person of you. One person. Look at your thumb. Look at it. Are you looking at it? That is your thumbprint. You are the only one in this world that has that thumbprint. You are unique. God created you special. He created you. He let you get up this morning and breathe because he has a purpose for your life. Look at your thumb when you don't think you're nothing because you are somebody. You're unique just the way God made you. So go on your day, guys. Be blessed. Know that you're amazing and you can do it. You can get up and breathe today. You can exhale today. You can just be yourself today. Be who you are today. And always, always remember who you are. Try not your best not to forget. And always be kind. And always forgive. I pray you guys have a very blessed day. We'll see you in my next video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.